the adult literacy program began with one student at a card table on the first floor. Um, and then people began coming. What we found out was that most of the people that came were people that fell between the cracks and were really anxious to learn English, primarily for work reasons. People really come here and they want to work. So anyway, one by one, we got the Rosetta Stone on the computers, and it was wonderful because most of the people who come never thought they would use a computer. So to think that they're not only getting English, but that they're learning computer, and uh, it's just made them very marketable in terms of the jobs. What we do is we have class five days a week, a nine to twelve, so it accommodates everybody. And people come, you have to come one day a week. Some people come one, they're one day off, or they come two, three, or four. So we don't have an ordinary curriculum like a school would have, which works against us in terms of getting funding. It works for us in terms of the students who come here. As we got more and more volunteer teachers, a piece of it was to use their gifts to find out what they were good at and what they enjoy teaching. So I try to do that if people come with a math background or a medical background or a teaching background with some good grammar. I try to kind of use that, have them use that with the students. Sometime in the course of a week there's always um, an updating of what's happening in terms of the holidays so that they can live in this world. We do at least once a month or every six weeks a job application for everybody. We do immigration papers and because we have two or three teachers a day then the students are, are able to get a little bit of everything. We try to have the adults out by 2.30 so we can really be ready for the after school program. We plugged into the Jesuit Volunteer Program, which is five days a week, 40 hours. And their primary role is to overlook the after school program. We have worked with 15 of the neighborhood kids, both for after school and for camp. And it's made such a difference. As the global world changes, our clientele change. It's not just what's happening on Stelman Road, but it's what's happening globally and how we kind of were able to respond to it.